Ooh, wow. What? It's a wild card. <gasps> Ask the wildest question to any person of your choice. Would you cheat on me with Timothy Chalamet? <laughs> No. Wait, 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 wait. If you knew, um, I, there was no way I would ever find out. Only you and Timothy will ever know. No, I couldn't live with that. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Because that means that we'd have to like spend the rest of our lives together and I'd have to be like lying. My name is Clara and I'm here with my husband Bruno and we're just about to play Dare to Share. I have to say, I feel a bit nervous. I know we don't have any secrets, but I guess you never know, potentially. In this game, players will take turns picking cards and answering questions. The amount of points you get for answering each question is based on the level of vulnerability it takes to answer it. The more vulnerable you are, the more points you'll earn. The game continues until all the cards have been dealt and the player with the most points wins. The player who cried most recently will begin. I think I did. You sure? I don't know. I had tears in my eyes last night, but I didn't cry. Hmm. I was just a bit emotional. <laughs> Do you want to go first then? Uh, sure, yeah, I'll go first. Green. What do you think your best friend would say is your biggest red flag? Maybe that I can be a bit like intense. Okay. You know what I mean? Which is like good because I'm I, always kind of like, yeah. you know, but I can, I, I guess it can be something. I the biggest red flag, but I think it works. <laughs> no, no, I think, I think it just, <laughs> no, it's fine. No, I'm just thinking about what two, she would green, say. Two points. I'm I think taking it very literally. Yeah, like, what, what would she, she would say? say, yes. I think she would say that. Yeah, you're right, yeah. That, like sometimes I can be a bit, you yeah, know. true. Do you agree? I agree. Okay, cool. Two points. Boom. It's interesting because I guess I'd never asked myself that question before, which is maybe a red flag. Green. Okay, okay, good. Show the most recent photo in your camera roll. What is the story behind it? Oh, I need to show my recent photo. Yeah. Okay. It's you. <gasps> it's me. Yeah. So this is from your short film screening a couple of days ago. Yeah. Next to the massive poster. <laughs> Thank you, Clara. Two, two. <laughs> Next. What would be the hardest part about living with you? Hmm. I'm a doer and I have like very clear ideas of like how I want to get things done. And I guess mm. that can probably be a bit much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you agree? Yeah, I agree. Two points. Yeah. Cool. Are you ready Was it for red? level two? Okay, no, it's orange. orange. Okay. What relationship has challenged you to grow the most? Romantic or not? Oh my god. I think of my relationship with you. Mm. Yeah. In what ways? I think in the last, what, seven, eight years, I've probably grown up to be the person I am now mm. in the relationship that we are in. Mm -hmm. You know, I definitely discovered things about myself that maybe I didn't know before, and yeah, our relationship, that would be the one, I guess. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Four points. Thank you. Ooh, wow. What? It's a wild card. <gasps> Ask the wildest question to any person of your choice. Would you cheat on me with Timothy Chalamet? <laughs> no. Wait, 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 wait. If I died and he was into you, would you... He'd be dead, so I wouldn't be cheating on you. Yeah, but if he knew, um. I, there was no way I would ever find out would you cheat on me with Timothy Wait, Shaman? are you dead or alive? I'm alive. <laughs> and I will never find out. Only you and Timothy will ever know. No, I couldn't live with that. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Because that means that we'd have to like spend the rest of our lives together and I'd have to be like lying. You just love me so much. I just love you too much. I agree. <laughs> All right, eight points. Boom, eight points. Nice. Did I believe her about Timothy Chalamet? 98%. I think. <laughs> what insecurity comes up the most? Insecurity? Yeah. Uh, not being good enough at things I do. Okay. Imposter syndrome, career-wise, I think. Mm. Like, the overall thing is kind of not being good enough. Yeah, or like disappointing someone. Mm. Okay. So how does that kind of like manifest? I guess in anxiety and overthinking things, mm. stuff that happened, yeah. Okay, I think you deserve six points. Thank you. <laughs> do I? Do yes. I really? Okay. Yeah, you, you're good enough, you okay, deserve I'm six points. Six. So, next one. When was the last time you cried and why? Mm. I, like, I feel like my mood can like go up and down quite, quite like extremely, mm. um, especially depending on my cycle. I think it was work-related last Probably. time I cried. 
maybe like it might have been like a rejection yeah. or something and something like piled up. I definitely it's probably like work related and why did you cry? I can't remember like specifically, but it's, I no, guess, no, you know, no, because but like I... once you did cry, what made, if it was work related, let's say it was a rejection. Well, I guess because made... obviously like my line of work, you know, like, you know, when it is something you really want and you don't get it, then I guess like all the sort of built up frustration yeah. will probably like spill over. Yeah. So I think those are the moments where I cry the most. Okay, yeah. I think it deserves sex. Oh, read the most recent thing in your notes app out loud. Why do I to do that? <laughs> what? Read the most recent? Thing in your notes app out loud. Okay, this one is in Croatian. Okay, <laughs> well this is super random. No title. Attacks, not in time with picture. A1 digital tail change for sparkly. Explosion <laughs> matic evolve. That does not deserve six points. That is not vulnerable at all. I know. <laughs> Like it's not one, like it's not red. Yeah, it's not right. It's yeah. just work stuff. Work. Sorry. Well, I guess, yeah. Well, I guess you're gonna win then <laughs> if you're gonna cheat. <laughs> um, okay, red. What is the best decision you have ever made? Whoa. Well, one of the best decisions is definitely like committing to our relationship. You know, because it's easy to like start a relationship, but the reason I'm using the word commit is like we kind of both decided a long time ago that we were going to like make it work yeah. and like work on it and stick with it. Yeah. So that's definitely one of the best decisions, <laughs> which is what you wanted to hear. I mean, not really. <laughs> not that I didn't want to hear that, but I think it's a correct answer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously. Six points. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty good decision marrying Bruno, because um, he's the best. Okay. Okay. Are you someone who easily forgives? If I get angry, which I do sometimes, I very easily forget why. Mm. And I don't really hold it to heart. Yeah. So I think. Here you go. Thank you. Four points. Four points. <laughs> Thanks. Ready? Yeah. What is the biggest source of guilt that you carry? Oh my God. That's deep. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know, man, that's too deep. Biggest source of guilt. I think I'll skip that one for now. Oh. I don't know, guilt is something that's really like deep. Very deep. I'd have to like really think about it. Maybe something you said to someone cheating on your husband with Timothy Shalom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think this is a bit like too... Too deep Too deep. For you. Like I don't think I want to... Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. We put it back. How many points was that? Four. <laughs> I've still got more points, more points than you. <laughs> she doesn't really... Seem like someone who'd be burdened by guilt, but let's see. I don't really know what the answer would be, to be honest. So that's definitely something we need to talk about. Okay, what's something you wish you could tell your younger self? Oh, wow. When I thought about this in therapy, I cried like a baby. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I guess that everything will be okay. Don't worry. Don't think about everything so hard and so much. Mm. Yeah, I couldn't see too far ahead as mm. a child. I was always like in turmoil in the moment, kind of. I feel if I could speak to my younger self, I'd just like give myself a little hug and be like, mm. don't worry, kid, it's gonna be okay. Okay, you deserve four, four points. Thank you. When was the last time you felt rejected? It's kind of hard, like when you're an artist, when you're, when you're like a creative, it's hard to like yes. separate yourself from your work and like distance yeah. yourself from it. So every rejection you get is in a way also like a rejection of who you are. Yeah. Or at least right. it feels like that. Yeah. And that can and be painful. like really painful, yeah. Okay. When you get loads and loads, which obviously you do yeah. in my line of work. That's painful. There you go. Thank you. you deserve it. What is your love language? Oh. Physical touch, right? Mm. Yeah, like proximity. Mm -hmm. Cuddling. Mm. Breakfast. Breakfast. Which is also physical. Okay. Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Ten points. Two points. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. That's an easy one. Okay, yeah, that's true. You ready? Yeah. Which <laughs> household chore is your least favorite? Which do you enjoy? Oof, probably say like washing up. Mm. I hate washing up. Yeah. I love cleaning like windows and mirrors. Okay. I love cleaning like glass. Mm. Just because it's like so visible, I guess, yeah. like straight away. Like it's so satisfying. Yeah. Okay, two points, I agree. <laughs> There's only one left. 
How are you feeling? Good. Yeah, it feels like therapy, to be honest. Yeah. 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 If you were to do this, like, for an hour or two, yeah. with friends or family or yeah. partners, it could be very, very beneficial for your mental health. Last yeah. question? Last question. Okay. In your opinion, what is the biggest form of betrayal? Being cheated on, I think. Did you experience that? Uh, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Obviously before me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, obviously. Mine, I don't think, was ever confirmed, really. Mm -hmm. But it definitely hurt. Two points. Six points. Six points, hey! Yeah. Okay, <laughs> nice. Right, let's see. Who's the MVP? Two. Yeah. 26. 28. Boom. Uh, I got 30. 30? Yeah. Okay, but you had the wild card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think you deserve it. It was quite a wild ride, like, it was it's quite intense. It's funny, it's a bit challenging, it's very exposing, it's very vulnerable. Let's say we... it's a draw. It's a draw. Right. It's a draw. <laughs> Good game. Good game.